don't forget to put on my bow. Oh, that's a great point, Mika. Here you go. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And check out this awesome arts and crafts I made here in the Tinker Tank at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. Whoa, and it looks just like my best friend, Mika. Hi, Mika. Hey, Blippi. <laughs> That's so cool. And look, she is an astronaut. Whoa. And look at this. It's like she's walking on the moon. <laughs> hey, Mika, how are you going to get to the moon? Uh, that's a good question, Blippi. Hmm. Ooh, I know. Why don't we go explore the Science Center and find some inspiration for a rocket? Hey, check it out. We're in a tropical butterfly house. I wonder if we can get some inspiration from some butterflies so we can build our arts and crafts rocket. Wouldn't that be great? Do you see any butterflies anywhere? Hmm. Oh, hey, there's a ton right here. It looks like they're enjoying a nice meal. Some butterflies drink nectar, but some drink from fruits. And take a look at this butterfly over here. That yellow ring with the black dot in the middle? That looks just like an owl eye, so it scares off anything that might want to come and get it. Look at it open its wings. Wow, that's so pretty. They open their wings when they're, when they're sitting down sometimes. Why don't we go learn some more about some butterflies? We'll go this way. We'll go extra quietly so it stays with me. They're my pals now. Come on. Hey, take a look at this. This little guy didn't used to always look like this. They actually started off as eggs, like these right here. And then they grow and turn into a caterpillar. They eat lots and lots of leaves and grow really big. And then when they're big enough, they turn into a chrysalis. Yeah, the caterpillar turns into a chrysalis, which keeps them nice and safe and protected until it turns into a butterfly. <laughs> That's so awesome. Chrysalises are for butterflies and cocoons are for moths. These are chrysalises. They're kind of like the cocoons I was talking about, but these are from caterpillars that will turn into butterflies. Isn't that so neat? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we use the chrysalis as inspiration for our rocket? Yeah, let's see. What can we use to keep Mika safe? Oh, I know. We can use construction paper. That's nice and tough, just like a chrysalis. Are you ready to make an arts and crafts rocket for our astronaut Mika? <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. So first, we are gonna make the body of our rocket. So take some glue. We'll do a line right on the edge. Roll this over. Do you know what shape this is? Yeah, it's a cylinder. It's perfect for the body of our rocket ship. This is gonna be our nose cone. But does this look like a cone to you? No, this is a big blue circle. And I cut a triangle out of the bottom, just like, oh, like a big slice of pizza. <laughs> now, we're gonna take this, put it on this edge, and then we're gonna tuck this corner under this corner it's a cone, which kind of looks like a hat. Let's put some glue on it, and we'll put it right on top. It kind of looks like the tower of a castle. Whoa, we're gonna make a parallelogram. That's when two sides are the same and the two others are slanted. It's like a slanted rectangle, <laughs> fun. Next, take your scissors, and kind of close to the edge, cut halfway up, and you slip it on the bottom, a tail fin. All right, let's make three more. Take a look, our rocket is all finished. Whoa, look, we're at the saltwater tide pool. Oh, hey, my name's Blippi. Hi, I'm Kimberly. Oh, it's so good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do I get to explore some of these animals here? Yeah, you just need to rinse your hands off first to be safe for the animals. Oh, perfect. All right, we wanna make sure we keep the animals safe. Let's rinse our hands. Oh, Kimberly, what are these? That's a sea star. Oh, a sea star. Hey, that makes sense. It looks just like a star. 
Why don't you and I count how many arms there are? I see one, two, three, four, five arms, just like a star. And look at this. This one is purple. Hey, that's one of Mika's favorite colors. And this one here is orange, one of my two favorite colors. What do sea stars eat? Oh, they eat mussels like this. Oh, this is a mussel? How do you get the shell open? Well, the sea stars use their tiny little tube feet. On the bottoms of their arms, there's hundreds of these little suction cups that help them open things and move around. Whoa, they must be pretty strong. This is shut tight. They're really strong. Do you want to give it to one? Oh, that sounds so fun. Okay, let's feed it to this one. Whoa, <laughs> its little arms just gripped it. You can see all its little suction cups moving like little fingers. What is this? This is a sea anemone. It looks slimy. Use one gentle finger. Okay. Ooh, whoa, it just tried to grab my finger. Do you want to try and feed it? That sounds great. <laughs> okay, and how about I feed this one right here? Whoa. It pulled the fish right into the middle of its mouth. What's this right here? It looks like a really spiky rock. Oh, that is a sea urchin. So that's an animal too? It is. Hey, that gives me an idea. These have tons of different textures, and I have some little pom-poms that look just like sea urchins that I can put on my rocket ship. How does that sound? Pretty cool, huh? Look at these. This looks just like that sea urchin I touched. Oh, cool. These will be perfect for decorating. Let's take this glue and put some pom-poms on our rocket. Let's go. Welcome to the planetarium. Whoa. This is like a movie theater for the stars. I can't wait to see some stars. Let's go sit down. Let's do it. Whoa, there are so many stars. Hey, they look kind of like sprinkles all over the sky. Yeah, those stars are just like our sun. They're just farther away. That's why they look so small. Oh, right. What's that big stripe in the sky? That's the Milky Way. That's light from the other side of our galaxy. We're looking at all these stars, but I don't see any constellations. Aren't there supposed to be constellations? Yeah, I can pull up some constellations. Constellations are when we connect the dots between different stars. What are those shapes? They don't look familiar to me. Well, these shapes have some art that go with them. Do you want to see? I would love to see them. Whoa, those are really fun pictures. I see a lion. Is that a bear? Yep, that's the big bear, Ursa Major. And is that a dragon? It sure is, Draco the dragon. They're so twinkly and sparkly. Hey. That gives me an idea. I have some stars that are sparkly and twinkly too. I can put those on my rocket for astronaut Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching me all about the stars and about all those sea creatures too, Kimberly. It was so fun. You're welcome, Blippi. Hey, why don't we add a few more decorations? This time, we'll use these stars. Yeah, just like we saw in the planetarium with all the constellations. I think we'll make a smiley face constellation. We'll put that blue star right here. And now let's do, why don't we do a purple one? Okay, why don't we use these small ones here for our smiley face? Oh, that looks great. And look, it makes our smiley face. We have ourselves a smiley face constellation. Check it out. We did a good job. I like this a lot. Are you ready to blast off? I sure am, Blippi. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. All right, let's count down from three. Three, two, one, blast off. Whoa, check it out, Mika. We're at the biggest planet in the solar system. Yeah, that's Jupiter. And look at all the pretty colors, Mika. Whoa, that looks so pretty. There's red and brown and white. So many pretty colors. <laughs> hey, 
I had a great time exploring the Pacific Science Center with you all. We learned so much and used it to inspire how we built our rocket ship for astronaut Mika. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great! B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job! All right, Mika, let's get back home to Earth. Sounds good, Flippy. Three, two, one, blast off!